Okay, Emily, 47 is what you got in the last paper too, so let's see if you've managed to improve on that this time around. £3.60, 3188, 1392, they're alright. That's wrong though, so I'm not quite sure what you've done there, but it looks to me like you haven't used a calculator and you've tried to add them up without the calculator. You're allowed to use a calculator, so for goodness sake, do so, because I think you've just made a little careless mistake there. Um, £8.14 is correct for your incorrect answer, so that's fine. Um, area is metres squared. Litres is good, metres and kilograms, well done. Um, an equilateral triangle is not H. H is an isosceles triangle because it's only got two equal sides. The equilateral one is B. Parallelogram is not E. E are just a pair of parallel lines. The parallelogram is F, which is a four-sided shape with two pairs of parallel sides, and C and G are correct with you. Five, nine, four, page one. That's nice, that's good, that's good. So two and four. For this one, you need to add them up and divide by nine. And when you add them up and divide by 9, you don't get £32.40. So your method is right. You're dividing by 9, but somehow your answer is wrong. I think probably what you've done is you haven't pressed equals before dividing by 9. You have to press equals there to work out what the total is and then divide by 9. Otherwise, the calculator only divides the last digit by 9. Median is 51, well done. 4, 6, 8, 10 for the page. Uh, 40 pound and 9 pence is right. 22 pound is right, and that's right, good. 1.9 meters. Um, what, that's a bit of a difficult number to work with. With estimates, what you're trying to do is choose a number that's easy. So 1, 1 and a half, 2. So 1.9 is not a sensible estimate. And then what you need to do is um, see how many times that fits in. And what you've just done is counted up 12, but instead of then going 12 lots of 1.9, you're just counting up in ones. So your method is wrong there as well. What yours should be is 12 times 1.9 is 12 gaps you've counted, each one of them 1.9. So you should be doubling and trebling and, and so on. So I can't give you any marks for that, although you're not far off earning some marks. Seven, three, six, seven, five, good. 29 is correct. This is wrong because you have to do the opposites. So it should be add three and then times by four because you go in, in the opposite direction. So if you go in that way, you're times in by three and taking away. So you're times in by four and taking away three. So to go the opposite way, first of all, you have to add three and then divide by four. Add three each time, the number is take away, but it equals the same number. So, no, what you're looking for there is that you're dividing by two each time. Top of the page six. Okay, watch the video clip of me explaining that. It is something you should be able to follow fairly easily. Uh, six and zero are wrong. Um, what's happening here is it's going down in two, then in four, then in six. So it needs to go down eight. So um, 12 take away eight is four. And then it needs to go down 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10 and four take away 10 is negative six. This one is wrong because um, you have to do the opposite of dividing by four, which is timesing by four. 
comes to 32. This one is wrong because it's negative 1, which means that has to be negative 3 take away 10. And even so, yours would be wrong because 3 take away 10 should give you negative 7. So there's too many mistakes there in order to get any marks there. Uh, at least three visitors, no, three visitors, um, 18 people had exactly three, but another three people had more than three, so at least three would be um, 21 out of the 50 patients that um, are in the hospital. And then how many visitors were there all together? Again, hopefully after the work we did um, on Thursday this week, you know now to look at a column, that's telling you that there are 14 patients each with two. So there are 28 visitors there. And then there's another 12 visitors there and 54 visitors there and so on. And that's what you have to add together. Okay, so you're timesing those together and then you add these up and that's the answer that needs to go there. £25.92 is correct. That's not right. No, the sum that you have to do is 78 out of 120 times 100. And on your calculator, put that in exactly as you see it. So use the fraction button, 78 out of 120 times 100 equals 65. Pie charts, <coughs> we will practice, um, but if you want to have a look how I do it on the video clip, uh, first they're fairly straightforward to get your head around and then go on to the uh, foundation topics on Jones' sum and print off some stuff on pie charts. Two for the page. Watch how I do that on the video clip. Uh, 2380 is correct. Uh, and that needs to be multiplied. Every one of those units costs uh, £11.25. So you have to multiply those two together. Then you do your 5% of um, that answer. So 5% of that is £11.93, let me just check, so that's 5% times 23864 equals 11 93 so that's right, well done. Then you're going to add on to that right this then is wrong with you so what you have to add together now is the 23864 which is the total of the ones above plus the 93 and then you take that off and then you take off all of these as well so you've done that taking away correctly so that's wrong you correctly work with the uh, VAT and then you correctly uh, two four gone from there but that one's wrong with you so you get two marks there point one three is correct uh, they would have to choose three no you're looking there to say which two colors are the large have the biggest chance of winning so you're looking for the largest decimal numbers so yellow and blue are the two that you're looking for there uh, green or blue is 0.61 but you don't then take that away from one that's your answer but because you haven't made clear which of those is your answer i can't give you full marks Um, fifteen point eighty four is one hundred and forty seven eighty four. Good. Uh, it's not eight point one, 
it's sorry it's not 8.7 it's 8.1 um, so you've done something wrong in your calculation there um, six for the page That's not how you work out prime factors. Uh, you may not have done those in your previous class. Have a look how I've done it on the video clip. Uh, it is something that we will be practicing in time for the exam, uh, but just make sure that you can follow the method. For this one, um, you've made more work of it than you need to. All you need to do for this one is put those two values in and show one of them as an answer greater than uh, 20 and the other one's got an answer smaller than 20 so you haven't done enough to answer the question and this is a difficult question um, you haven't done it right uh, it's combining Pythagoras and area and volume so take a look at the video clip and see if you can uh, earn any marks with it one for the page so what did I say Emily 47 last time well, feels like it was better than that. 9, 19, 26, 32, 34, 36, 42, 43. 43, so not as good as last time. Well, it's surprising, it felt better than that when I was going through it. Anyway, there's lots of small little mistakes in there that um, you can pick up. The 43 is a great E. Um, it's seven marks from a D um, it's not as good as last time unfortunately but uh, there's plenty of things in there that you can have a look at and practice and improve 